Hello, my name is Chrissy, and I wanted to tell you guys about my VIP kid interview and experience so far. So I had seen a friend post something on Facebook about VIP kid, and I was like, I saw those advertisements before, and I was like, well, let me go check it out. Uh, a little bit, a little bit about me. I'm a stay-at-home mom, and when I heard about it and what they actually do, and I started watching the videos online, like you're doing now. I was very excited because I thought what a great opportunity for me to do something that I love already and I have experience in. So I've taught in the classroom for 17 years and I absolutely love teaching. So I like being able to continue something that I love and to be able to stay at home with my son. It gives me that flexibility. So I'm going to talk to you guys a little bit about the um, VIP Kid. VIP Kid is an online ESL program for students in China. Right now, I believe they're only in China. Um, I don't know if they're anyone else. I think there's plans for them to be other places. And so I, they hired North American teachers that, or if you live somewhere else, but you're a native North American English speaker, those are the people they like to target to hire. And you go online, you put in your information and your educational history, and then they contact you and to give you, um, ask you to pick a demo time. Yesterday was my first demo. It's about 10 minutes, and I'm going to tell you a little bit about my experience with that yesterday because it's so fresh. So my appointment was for 7 p.m., and I had set up everything I had set up all my technology and checked it from about three o'clock in the afternoon and I had practiced many many times I practiced 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 my mentor the woman who referred me and whose post I had seen she had practiced with me as well and she recorded it so that I could see myself later which was really weird I kept thinking about little things um, and so I practiced a lot. So whatever you think you're going to do for those 10 minutes, you practice it so that it becomes natural when you do it. If you are used to anything like Pearson, Kaplan, or Sylvan Learning Group, and you've done their programs, this is scripted language. You will be using, you will use a format that they give you. So you enter the classroom at your appointment time and you log in and they give you the opportunity for you to check your technology, make sure the sound is okay, make sure you can hear, okay, everything was fine. And I was, it was really interesting because I had logged in about 10 minutes before class time and my instructor was already there, my interviewer was already there. And I was having a lot of trouble hearing her and it was it was kind of difficult because she was getting frustrated, I could understand, because we thought it was on my end, but it wasn't. And this went on for a few minutes, and she got her IT people, and then they were able to fix it within about 10 minutes. So just be prepared that you may have some technical glitches. So go in there early so that you can get it resolved. You don't want to be rushed in the end. She was very, very nice. I, I, she was very, very helpful. Her facial expressions were very welcoming. She was, she couldn't do more to make me feel comfortable. She was very, very nice. She gave me tips in the beginning. It was as if she, and she was like a teacher. She wanted me to be successful, and she was telling me all the different things that I should do. So once we got our technology glitch out of the way, the demo lesson started. The demo lesson is a set of slides that you will encounter in the classroom. There were two set of slides. Make sure you ask which set you have to do because I had to prepare both lessons just in case. So they got back to me, I think, the day before, so I had to kind of make sure that I had everything I needed because um, I needed the right lesson. When I started my lesson, the first thing I did was I introduced my reward system. So I said, hello, you have to be very animated, larger than life, you have to smile a lot, you have a screen so you have to convey what you would like the student to feel on the other side. So the first thing I did was I had a monkey because their reward system on this slide was bananas. Sometimes they're gonna be stars. So I was like, hi bananas when you do a good job you have bananas and she really liked this um, and I'll tell you more about that in a minute then the next thing we did is we went into the 
the lesson. The lesson was on feelings. So I had cut out on a die cut machine, an electronic die cut machine, sad, happy, and angry. Now, one of the things I noticed, she loved these. Her face lit up when she, I think this is the one we, she saw first, and she loved it. And you have to be very animated. So I was very animated, angry. And she loved it. She chuckled, actually. And these, you can make, you can do this from clip art. This is a really simple pattern. You can get an electronic cutting machine. They have them on eBay all the time. Or you can just cut out little cards or pieces of paper. She really, really love these you couldn't get enough of these one thing i do regret is i kept covering my face with them remember your students need to see your lips they need to mimic and model your um the way you're pronouncing things that is a very essential thing to have for teaching. the other thing that i had was a flashcard with my letter so the letter for yesterday the phonics portion of it was m and I had made the mistake, which I told myself, and I knew better than what to do. I kept doing mum, 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 instead of mmm. So I corrected myself, and you could see that she didn't like the mum, right? And then I pointed to this. She liked that I had done that in my critique at the end, on the feedback that she gave me. And <clears throat> there is a mouse on the screen. You could very much have the kids just you could just circle it on the screen with your mouse but I chose to use this the other thing you have to have is a whiteboard now I did my angry and happy lesson on the whiteboard she didn't like this that much she wanted me to have the student circle and use the mouse instead of using this because the student in China can't draw on my thing um, a tip so one of the things she did, oh, let me keep going with the lesson for a second. With the role playing, I had a dinosaur because the, 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 one of the characters was a dinosaur. So I brought out my son's toys and you could do the same. And she really liked the dinosaur. She didn't like that I didn't change my voice. I thought I had changed my voice to show that there were two different characters, but she didn't like that. I, it wasn't apparent enough. So keep that in mind if you have a role play. I made myself tons and tons of post-it notes and put them all over my laptop. I wanted to make sure that I was constantly looking at them and making sure that I could have a reminder. Your time is going to be placed at the top of that screen of the PowerPoint of the lesson. Keep track of that. They don't like you to go too over and they don't like you to be under the time. So be very wary of your time. I came in at 10 minutes and like 10 seconds. It was kind of weird. Um, her feedback was really good. I was surprised, though, that she had so many negative things to say. One of the negatives that she didn't like was that I didn't reprimand the student. She wanted me, and I had been told the opposite, on, well, from watching the videos and stuff, I was told that um, you want to be very, very positive, and I'm usually very, very positive with my students and my reprimands. And so she wanted me to tell the student, no, say blank 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 so be weary not to make sure you catch your mistakes and repeat it back to them and i did repeat it back but she wanted me to make sure that they understood that it was no and they ask you about your education so please play up any edu classroom ed classroom background work with students maybe you've done an after school camp camp anything with students that shows that you have the experience to be able to manage um, your day-to-day -day classroom, your online classroom. She, you have to play up any degrees you have, anything that is relative to education, and they will ask you about what you think your salary should be. And I was a little thrown because, and I should have known that from interview experience, and because I wasn't prepared for that on in an online setting. So be prepared to speak about that. So that was my experience yesterday. It was a really positive experience. They did not email me. She said they would email me and let me know, and they did not email me. I had to go into the classroom for it, where it showed, said, congratulations, you have passed, and they gave me this referral link. So if you are interested in becoming a VIP kid teacher, or if you want to just follow my journey, 
click subscribe and then also you will be able to be sent to the referral link on the bottom and if you use that referral link then I get a credit towards the future um, if you have any questions make sure you take the takeaways are make sure you have something interactive and different than just the screen for the students it could be this it could be a monkey make sure you have a reward system make sure your technology is working make sure that you look the part um, I heard many many times that lipstick is really really important the lipstick I had on yesterday is this obnoxious red but it doesn't seem as obnoxious on the screen because they need to be able to see and mimic your lips and make sure you have a whiteboard even though we didn't use it there I could have used it for vocabulary I got the the background to make it kid friendly I got these from the Dollar Tree and one of the complaints you're gonna hear on some of the videos is that you have to buy your own materials well as a classroom teacher for many many years I had to buy many many supplies and they weren't just dollars I'm talking about hundreds hundreds of dollars so I got that those from the Dollar Tree I just put my pens and my um, paint brushes there so that it looked like a little teacher friendly and a little file thing over there so you can keep it simple and don't go through a great expense until you're hired or and I don't think you really need to but if you have any questions feel free to comment below or you can message me and I will try to get back to you as soon as possible. I wish you luck on your journey. And I will speak to you soon to let you know how the second uh, practice went. The second classroom demo went. Bye-bye. Goodbye.